going to have you voice her, because I'm already doing most of the characters. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sounds good. What the heck's going on? We've been walking for hours! I was also going to have you voice <laughs> Um, Professor? I hate to say it, but are we lost? Hmm. I'm afraid you might be right. It's strange. I've been to this shrine countless times. Yet I've never seen these trees before. Whatever might this strange flora be? Just look at all this mist. Do you think it's making us go around in circles? No way. Even a child could get across this area in an hour. Don't tell me. Are we, like, stuck here somehow? Like, for real? Indeed, a normally impossible conjecture, but we have... But we have lost consciousness. Getting stuck is certainly odd. If it has occurred, there must be a reason. A reason? Like what? This is just a theory, but perhaps we inhaled some sort of noxious gas. No way! Now you're freaking me out! It would explain a loss of directional sense, and would certainly explain why we're stuck. When I awoke, I was standing alone in a grove of trees surrounded by red spider lilies. That's when I heard you and rushed over. Do you all remember anything before we met? My memories are def definitely fuzzy, and there's this weird fog. What's going on? Well, you all came to do some research, yes? I believe looking for this reason can. You're not even part of our study group. Oh, I've had it. I just want to go home. We'll have to get back to the campgrounds first. Home is even further away than that. Now ain't the time for splitting hairs. Man, my legs are stiff as a board already. I say now's no time to start whining. Those legs are your only way out of here. Thanks for the lesson, Captain Obvious. It's not like I asked you to carry me or anything. I feel like no. I might change your voice just because of like the type of dialogue she has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Now, now, this is a waste of energy. Here, Saki, I'll carry you if you'd like. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> That's right, you will. You shouldn't be saying things that upset the professor. What? Why is he afraid of upsetting the professor? <laughs> For that matter, professor, you shouldn't coddle her. This is definitely like the Joe of the group. It, yeah, yeah. It, I was kind of thinking that just by the look, too, with glasses in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of dark blue. <laughs> And I suggest you lead by example instead of simply chatting her without ears to listen. At any rate, it's only the three of us here. We have no one to rely on but each other. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, where did Aoi and the others go? That Miyu kid was with them too. Wait, did you hear that? There shouldn't be any bears in this region. Could have been a monkey. Or... Maybe a boar? At any rate, best to remain vigilant. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, I think Saki gets Floramon. And does he get Wapmon? I don't remember. Uh, you want me to voice both of them? Yeah, I guess you can for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lopmon. That looks like Terriermon. Well, Lopmon was in the movie. Yeah. Uh, Lopmon was in the movie. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I'm kind of blanking. Yeah. Um, so do you want me to? You said you yeah, want me yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, you can you can take these. Oh yeah, okay. It, 
that an animal? No. What in the world? You guys are... Huh? Uh, Professor? Have you ever heard of a creature like this? You're... What? What is it? I, I can't believe my eyes. Wait, don't tell me. This isn't one of those legendary Komanagami things, is it? Uh, Emonagami? That's impossible. Those things can't really exist. Unbelievable. They really... Um, like, hello? Mr. Kenona Mr. Kemonagami? Hey, don't approach it so carelessly. I just thought it might understand words, that's all. And then this guy shows up. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Oh no, I think they might be dangerous. It's coming over here! Shoo! Shoo! We're being chased by them. They're freaking scary! Oh, oh no! Look out, Saki! Yikes! Prof professor? Oh no! Professor! Um, there goes my role in this scene. <laughs> he, he protected me! Now there's a bunch of them! We have to save the professor! The monsters are swarming him! D stay away! Don't worry about me! Just run away! B but... We're in trouble if we stick around here. Shuji, go on now. Professor, damn it. Hey, come on, Shuji. We gotta get out of here. Let's go, Saki. Huh? Come on, just run. Professor, no. It's fine. It's up to us adults to protect the future. The rest is in your hands, Shuji. Wait, Shuji! You can't just leave him! Can't let his sacrifice be in vain! Let's get out of here! Nope. I'm trying to give him enough variety, especially for the Digimon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's tough. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> they just went to sleep like this yes like this yesterday. They're all still asleep, it seems. Yesterday must have been really tiring. Let me get some air. Oh. Huh. I didn't think we were gonna jump back so soon. Yeah, they're only side characters, so. <laughs> <laughs> Akuma. Whoa. Oh, it's just Akumon. Sneak up on me like that. I saw you get up and followed you. What were you up to? Nothing special. It's just that yesterday was pretty intense. We just wanted to go camping and this rock creature attacked us. Gatsumon. Yeah, Gatsumon attacked. We got away, but this school is a spider creature's lair. So Kugamon it was also conf so confusing. I couldn't keep up with it at all. Really? I thought you did great. It was touch and go. It was Haru who helped me save everyone who was captured. <laughs> that must have been a shock, even though they weren't monsters. What could we do? Heck, I was surprised when I met you two. We were exhausted yesterday, but there's a lot to think about. Think about? Like what? 
Uh, yeah. Unless we know what's happening, we won't be able to... We won't be any help to anyone. Right, but what are we supposed to do? Exactly. I can't think of anything myself. But if we all put our heads together... We also need to figure out food and shelter while we wait for the professor. We surviving Digimon. We're trying to survive Digimon. Uh, that's that's the goal here, but I don't know. I don't know if we're doing a good job. I think we just lost... We wait for the professor. I think the professor's dead, bro. Sorry, dude. Uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Hmm. Takuma, are you okay? Uh, rip the professor. And, you know, it was he seemed like a minor character anyway. I'm sure he wasn't that important. It is what it is. Sometimes people just gotta die. You know how it be. Huh. <laughs> I'm not coming up with anything. Let's ask everyone. You got it. Let's do that. Man. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Morning, Minoru. Yeah, you, Takuma. So it wasn't a dream, huh? Looks like it. I figured I'd wake up. I figured I'd wake up by now. We slept like babies after everything yesterday. Tell me about it. What a day. Man, looking around again in the daylight, this place definitely seen better days. We fought against monsters yesterday. Tell me about it. <laughs> Indeed. This is real. Good morning, Takuma. Minoru. Hey, Aoi. Morning. Good morning, Aoi. Did you sleep well? I did. Still a little tired, but my head is finally cleared. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, this Ryo. little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryo, you sleepy head. Shut up. How am I supposed to sleep? And it's funny because they like... He's supposed to be like the tough guy, but we've only ever seen him being a being like a f scared little bitch. <laughs> you were all out like light. How could he even sleep after all this? Well, you were in the classroom that whole time and kept fainting. <laughs> I kept fainting. Say that again. Now that everyone's awake, we should put our heads together and think about the next step. Yeah, with everything that went on yesterday, we were too tired to do anything but sleep. Hey, wait. Who died and made you the boss, Takuma? I've literally always been. I'm on the cover yeah, of the what he said. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the cover. I'm the main character, thank you very much. <laughs> Why are you taking me side, Takumon? This sort of thing is better left to the older kids. Aoi, Ryo, you're up. <laughs> you treat me with respect now of all times? I mean, to be honest, I... It ain't gonna make any difference, is it? That's Rio for you. I guess last night's defense didn't help. I ain't got the time or the inclination to lead you loose around. Yeah, that sounds about right. Guess that leaves you, Aoi. I'm afraid I also lack what it takes to be a leader. But you're so serious. What does that have to do with anything? But Aoi, you're not just serious, you're also nice. You'd be a great leader. You overestimate me. Even now I'm full of anxiety. Seriously, what is going on? Think about it. A group of children went missing overnight. You'd expect this to cause a major uproar, and yet... Oh, I get what you're saying. You'd expect them to send out a helicopter or something. It's already morning, but there's no sign of a search party. This is just too strange. We're stuck on some mountain or something? We're in a school. We're not stuck- oh, we're not stuck on some mountain or something. We're in a school. Isn't it weird there's nobody else around, though? Everyone else has disappeared. Well, I mean, schools aren't safe. Have you seen Danganronpa? <laughs> 
You're not making me feel any better. I'm just telling it like it is, right? Look, even our phones are out of service. What the heck? Did the world just end or something? If that ain't the case, then stick a fork in us, because we're done. You think some disaster occurred? It'd explain why they ain't looking for lost kids. Stop it, I'm begging you. I'm just saying, look around. We weren't out that long, and the school's all messed up. The whole landscape changed too. Stuff like this doesn't exactly happen every day. Maybe we ended up in some parallel world. Mm, or like, maybe. travel through time. Or maybe someone fired off some super weapon. Could explain the school and everything. Wait, that can't be it. This place looks more run down than blown up, you know? Man, this is all so cool. Don't you think? Wait, were you listening at all? Is your brain broken or something? I'm actually agreeing with Ryo. And what were those creatures last night? I hate to say it, but they kind of remind me of those little guys, don't you think? Of us? Yeah, you motherfuckers. <laughs> All we can say for sure is that everyone's gone, and the school building's in ruins. The area around here is completely different for some reason. And the fog all around here makes it impossible to figure out what's going on. The fog is apparently too dangerous to touch. Not apparently. It's really dangerous. You say, so you say. And to top it all off, all those weird things are crawling around out, out there. Who's a weird thing? Well then, what are you? Exactly. We're us and they're them. That doesn't explain anything. That's right, I can't explain anything. <laughs> then why are you talking so confidently? Oh, come on. What do you think? Me? Seriously, we're not getting anywhere over here. Very well, let's see. I could say that we have no doubts about our own existence. Still, it's clear that our world is separate from the world of you humans. So this really is a parallel world? I'm not sure what you mean. I admit that our situation is weird, but we can't be sure that this is a different world. If this is a different world, then where did this human building come from? Well, that's... Hmm. Maybe the building got transported, too? Then, wouldn't the school be in the same condition instead of falling apart? It looks like the building where we set up camp, but I think this one is different. This is a mystery to me, too! The hills and trees, the rocks, the ocean, and rivers? Unlike these natural formations, the building just suddenly appeared one day. So I heard. Heard? From who? And how? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's some divine being. Or one of my brethren with such power. I cannot say for sure. The residents of the world possess various powers and forms. Or, okay. So, this is obviously some sort of digital world, right? It's Digimon. Mm -hmm. um, the world is based on Google Map data. <laughs> so, when this school was created, after whenever, like, Google Maps went through and, like, mapped out, like, the thing, and the school got added to the map, that's when it appeared in this world. That's my assumption. <laughs> it's, like, GPS data. <laughs> Maybe. What about Google Earth? <laughs> oh, it's the same data. Um, yeah, because, like, I mean, normally in Digimon, like, the digital world is, like, its own separate thing. Obviously, things are based on data and whatnot, 
from that comes from the human world, but like this is like almost like a mirror world with like a lot of similarities. So I'm mm -hmm. guessing it has something to do with something like that, where like GPS data gets translated and then reflected in this world. Perhaps. Entities of terrible strength, some weak and frail, capable beings, helpless creatures. So you're saying one of your kind could have made this? One could have built it to resemble a human building or transported it from our world? I do not know. All I can say is that there is much variation among those who live here. Some are capable of speech and compromise. Others are frenzied and capable of either. What's more, humans are considered nothing more than fairy tales among our kind. In truth, you're the very first I've ever met. And yet, it has been said. Actual human children would appear capable of drawing out our true power. Oh, that sounds like... Yeah, the story of the Kumonogami. Could this be the truth behind those stories? That might explain the transformation of Agumon as he fought Dokugamon. Why did Agumon suddenly change shape and power up like that? Beats me. Hmm. Maybe an external force. Contact with humans triggered a sudden mutation. Selective mutation, a sort of instant instinctive evolution. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing, I guess. Hmm, this is only natural for us. It's never struck me as anything special. Of course, there may be more to our evolution, and we don't know how children are involved. Some of our kind would use such powers to destroy the world, others to save it. Others would take human children and... Uh, perhaps we should avoid such, such subjects. Yeah. For now, it is all I could tell you about our existence. I am ashamed I could not provide you with the clear answer you wanted, Minoru. Aw oh, man, that was more than enough. Enough? We still have no clue what's going on. It's like saying we don't know anything, so anything's possible. What a load of crap. Don't listen to comments from the peanut gallery, Falcomon. He's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, Minoru. And yet, what really happened? <sighs> hey, Aru and the others are awake. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. He's still scared of her. Come on now, he's still technically older. Technically, it's harsh, Takuma. <laughs> Sh just shut up already. Whoops. There he goes. Haru and Miyuki might know something. Let's head back and decide what to do next. Is that okay with you, Falcomon? Yes, understood. I believe we should continue our talk inside the school building, wouldn't you say? I feel like I need to change the voice for Falcomon too, but I guess uh, <laughs> I'll stick with it for now, and if anything, for next year, I'll change it. I'll see. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Morning. Oh, good morning. Wait. Why are we being so polite to little kids? Fuck kids. Morning. Oh, good day, m'lady. <laughs> Is that how you always talk to girls? I'll have you know I'm a gentleman. Uh, Miyuki, was it? Morning. Sorry for mistaking you for a ghost yesterday. No worries, it didn't bother me. Because I am a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And and, and Rio, are you still scared? Yes, those two still weird him out, huh? He screamed and fainted, so yeah. He did faint after all. He's not exactly hiding. Look at him staring at them from over there. Oh, good morning, you two. Did you get any sleep? Yeah. Yeah. There they go again. Are they on the same wavelength, or is she just parroting him? I see. Well, let us know if you need anything, okay? We've got to stick together. Thank you. We appreciate the sentiment. S sentiment. <laughs> uh, that's a big word for a girl your age, isn't it, Miyuki? <laughs> Aoi, Aoi is always considerate, but I guess she has some trouble with people like this. I mean, we're just kids. Please don't worry about her. She's been like this for a while now. Ever since she died protecting me. Wait, what? <laughs> I see. She went through a terrifying ordeal. I was able to protect her, but ever since... It's not what I remember. A terrifying ordeal? I don't remember. Man, I don't know what happened. They must have left some deep scars on them. Poor thing. One wrong move, and the same thing could have happened to us. If we had met Agumon and the others, I shudder to think what would have happened. This is supposed to be just a fun camping trip. It'd have to turn out like this. Moving on, is there anything else you wish to discuss? Let's see. Oh yeah, what's up with that fog outside? I told you it's dangerous. You shouldn't get too close. Who knows what happens to those who breathe it in? It's like they disappear without a trace. Oh, maybe we can make it back to our world if we go in into that fog then? No, you can't. Just don't. You really shouldn't. You're right. Trial and error could lead to irreversible consequences. Indeed, I cannot say for certain, but my instincts speak to the potential threat. Well, it was the fog that made us pass out, and got us lost in the first place. We've all experienced that. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely dangerous. Go right around it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess put it off for now. Yeah. There's too many questions about the fog. Let's forget about it for now. Can we? Wouldn't it be dangerous to not think of a plan? But what do we know? Nothing. What good will a plan do? Well, yeah, but... Can't go anywhere the way things are going. We haven't even eaten since yesterday. Something edible would be good. But why don't we split up and search the school? We need to see if anyone else is here. We met others like Miyuki who got stuck in here. It wouldn't be too surprising if there were others around somewhere, too. True, and now that you mention it, where did you two come from? Um, over there. Over there. And where exactly is... Over there? Over there. Over there. I see. This is getting us nowhere. <laughs> ain't like brats are gonna be straight with you. Anyway, the girl acts like a baby. That's going too far, Rio. They're not pair, but it does look like they're lost in here as the same as us. Anyway, we still don't know whether or not anyone else is actually here. Considering how those of us who got lost ended up at the school, I bet Saki, Shuji, and the professor are somewhere nearby. Nearby? You mean at that shrine? 
Yeah, so why don't we look there too? Now hold on, we still don't know if this is another world, do we? And even if we assume it is, it would have to be connected to our world somehow, right? Otherwise it would be weird to find a human building here. I think I get it, you're saying whatever boundary there is may be weaker somewhere. If that's true, it's possible that someone may come looking for us. I think it would be best to wait here for help instead of wandering around. I agree. Wow, Ryo's not arguing. <laughs> but in the meantime, we should find some kind of food. We can't rely on help showing up. Huh? You think Shuji and that egghead are out there? How'd you plan on looking for them? There ain't nothing we can do but sit tight and wait it out. It won't help anything. You got any suggestions? It ain't like moving around will do us any good. We got wrapped up in all this without doing anything, right? So who knows, maybe it's something will send us right back. Running around blind just puts us at more risk for no reason. But hey, it's your funeral. His attitude still needs some work, but I see his point. The Nora and Aoi are only talking about possibilities. It doesn't exactly help us. He speaks the truth. No point searching if it puts us in danger for no reason. Still, it sounds like he's totally given up. Aoi at least wants to look around a bit for food and supplies. Nora wants to go out and see if we can find anyone nearby. And Ryo thinks it's all pointless. Oh, he wants to hold up here. Well, then what should we do? Okay. I guess you choose what we should do first? Maybe? Yeah. Or is I might either be a dialogue or choose what we do first. Yeah, so it's... I mean, any one of them. So... I don't know. We don't know how long we'll be here. We'll need food and water, so look look around. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I've got to agree with Aoi on this one. Thank you, Takuma. It's just Aoi's opinion, right? Takuma made the right decision. You know, Labramon. I just thought Aoi was right, too. Me, too. Thanks anyway, Takuma, and thank you, too, Algamon. So we're searching the school, then. I'll help. I need to find some food. Let me know if you find something, Takuma. Okay, then. I mean, theoretically, like, if Minoru wanted to go out and search a little bit around the perimeter, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> Having said that, I wonder how should we go about this. Hmm, why don't we check out wherever you want to go, Takuma? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Okay, so back to exploration. Investigation phase. Yes. Investigation start. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so stuff in all these areas. Uh... There's the music room. What's the power situation? It's getting a little dark in here. The power? There are lights in the ceiling, right? Those things up there? They look broken to me. I see. Well, you wouldn't expect there to be power in this wreck of a school. If we need light, we use the flashlights in our cell phones. But how are you going to charge your cell phones? I was about to say, you're going to have them die pretty quick. Yeah, really. Damn, out of range, just like I thought. Could have called for help. I don't see any cell towers. And your phone? It's no good. No signal. And right. I figured there might be a chance, given the message I got. What? You got a message? I mean, but it's a bunch of gibberish. I'm out of range, so I can't send Jack. Damn it, what are we supposed to do here? What are you talking about? He got a message on his phone, but it's indecipherable. He's just a bit frustrated. Wow, show me. It's not for you, Agumon. It'll break if you toss it around. 
Hang on. My phone hasn't lost power. Oh, wow. We were literally just talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're right. I'm still at full charge, too. Good job noticing the power levels haven't changed. I I was trying to call for help. I've been much calmer than all of you. Who were you calling? What? Does it matter? Fine, I'll try calling too. Um, it's my parents. They usually answer if I call around this time. Oh. Can't call the professor. What will happen to us? Why aren't we getting a signal here? Okay, so they just don't lose power in this world. That explains <laughs> that it answers that question. Yeah. <laughs> Where would there be food? What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Yowie? It did. It sounded like someone was turning off a water faucet. Oh, it's you guys. What are you doing here? Haru, is that you? It's Haru. Haru, did you just use the water faucet over there? Yes. Why sure and I? Is there water? What? It comes out like it always does. Which means we have plumbing? That was easy. We have water all of a sudden. Now it's turned into a survival game. Yeah. That is, did you want to survive after all? <laughs> well, we met one of our goals, so let's be happy about that for now. Okay, sure. Drinking water is important. And it's amazing that the water even works. Oh good, we needed this lifeline. Maybe that... Maybe that means some, there's something we can use inside this building. Anyway, let's keep looking. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Cool, right when you're about to get to his part. <laughs> Hey, Takuma. Minoru, what's wrong? Check this out. Look, all, look at all this food. We found edible plants, fruits, and nuts around here. Minoru showing his skills. Um. Yeah, it's good enough. Amazing, Minoru. Great job. It was a piece of cake. Were you looking for more peeps? We found some food by chance at first, before focusing our efforts on finding more. You idiot, don't tell them. We can concentrate on finding people now. Let's keep looking around here. Okay, now we're back. Back at the classroom. There seems to be some edible food. It all looks so good. You're drooling, Agumon. That's disgusting. And yet you're drooling too, Labramon. Don't go eating any of that, you two. By the way... By the way, I can hear animal sounds from somewhere deeper in the forest. So we need to be careful searching for our food too far from here. That's scary. You've got water and some food. If there are spices and a grill in the cafeteria. We've got the minimum we'll need to survive. I'm worried about the others. Saki, Shuji, Kaito, Mew, the professor. You're right. We've made it this far, and I think they'll be looking for this place, too. Now his friends are going to be fine. And where are all the adults? We didn't get go that far. They've got to be around here somewhere. You're right. We woke up, he we woke up here, but maybe the others are just lost out there, too. We found our way back to the school. We should look around for a bit a bit longer for now. Reaction. 